have items for your medicine cabinet and what you need to take out immediately to make room. It's Dr. JJ. Hi, That's Dr. right. JJ. I, I got to tell you, there's no worse situation than going to your medicine cabinet and you're actively bleeding. You don't have what you want yeah. or you've got a headache and everything in your medicine cabinet is expired. So right. it's really, really important to, for us to take stock of what we have. Medicine cabinets are small, so we have a limited amount of room uh -huh. and we should carefully edit what's in there so that we meet all our family. So needs. this is a, a segment of the shoulds and the should nots. Exactly. Let's start with the should nots. Okay. Okay, so the should not. So believe it or not, medicine cabinets are named for medicine, but that's the last thing we should store in them because the humidity and heat of our bathrooms are actually too high for safe storage. The recommended safe storage for most medications is 58 to 86 degrees, and the humidity level is not taken into account when medicines are manufactured for efficacy. Interesting. So our kitchens are also undesirable places uh -oh. as well. So, uh, and and it, it may surprise you too that some topicals like polysporin or Lotrimin are meant to actually be stored between 68 and 77 degrees, which even narrows the field further. So we're gonna dump our topicals out of here. Um, Aspirin, believe it or not, if we keep it in our medicine cabinets for prevention of heart attack um, or for emergency purposes, if water hits aspirin, if you leave one out on the counter for just a couple of minutes and it softens the tablet, Salicylic acid turns into basically a callus remover. It turns into an exfoliant. And do we want to put that in our bodies? I have had aspirin in my medicine cabinet for way too long. You're scaring me. Well, and the thing it. is, you know, we repeatedly open and close all the bottles. So even though we've got a lid, even though yeah. we've got the mirror covering things, we still multiply expose all uh -huh. our medications to humidity and moisture, and they're not destined to live well. And they can okay. actually alter their chemical structure. So um, aspirin's got to go. All right. And ibuprofen and uh, has got to go any gel caps because the humidity will glom them together. And you know, if it's dark and you're trying to take one and you actually get two or three glommed together, you may overdose right. yourself. And it changes the chemical efficacy. Um, huh. Our big bottles of, of uh, cold medications uh, shouldn't be in the medicine cabinet. They shouldn't be accessible to little people, number one. Number two, we talked earlier in another segment about measuring cups and such, so we really should buy smaller mm -hmm. amounts and have a syringe nearby, and these are not meant to be stored okay, so in the bathroom Okay, so we're not supposed to put either. it in the bathroom, we're not supposed to do the kitchen. Where are we supposed to put these <laughs> things? Well, <laughs> right. <laughs> Almost. And don't forget the powder, so anything from stool softeners to uh, electrolyte solutions can enga uh, engage moisture in them and glom together and then just be not eff but, efficient. But back to their point, like under the pillow, where do we go? Well, actually the safest place to store your medications is in the coolest part of your house and that's typically a bedroom or a dresser drawer. Now, if you don't have any little people around or you don't have anybody at risk for taking more medicine mm -hmm. than they should, you can just put them in a dresser drawer on top of your dresser. But mm -hmm. if you have company, if you have relatives, if you have small little people around, you want to put all medications under lock and key. It's very, very important. And so there are little boxes like this that you can find. I got these at Staples uh, for $12, $14. They're lock boxes. You can see right through them. And each family member can have their prescription medications or even your over-the-counter medications locked inside of these and then you can pick them up and travel with them as well. You can see through them so you know whose they are okay. and even your dog's medication or your pet's medication should be segregated from yours. You, you know, God forbid we put our dog's eye medicine in our human <laughs> eyes, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. So it really makes sense to sort of categorize these by family member and keep them in a safe place and especially keeping them locked. Okay, so... Uh, Am I just supposed to put hairspray and toothpaste in the medicine cabinet? Well, what yeah, can I put in there? There Anything? are some other things that you can put in, too. So I've laid out a few things over here. So that dealing with these emergencies like active bleeding and, and mm -hmm. uh, right. foreign bodies, you know, we can make sure that we have a good assortment of, of Band-Aids, some 4x4 uh, four four gauze, and some uh, non-adhering uh, uh, tape called Coban, which is fantastic, especially if you have sensitive skin. Mm -hmm. uh, magnifying glass and some tweezers, because then we can take out foreign bodies. Um, a thermometer that has a digital readout that's big enough for us to read even late at night when we're breathing. Right. You have a little True. one at home, yes. you know that feeling. Yes. And then some good, you know, good things for just common everyday emergencies like some saline to put up our noses if we've got a cold or some calamine lotion if we've got an itch or some aloe vera which is actually recommended to keep at room te temperature or slightly cold so this could go in your fridge yeah, as well. This is great for minor burns. What about sunscreen? Can you and some? sunscreen definitely should be in there as well. Mm -hmm. And just keep in mind that if you have have any liquid medications, you need to tightly uh, close the bottle or the cap because in our bathrooms, don't get grossed out, we've got E. coli and all kinds of bad germs 
floating around, and wow. we don't want them contaminating our sure. liquid medicine. No, How is my not. dog going to open it with that little key, though? <laughs> That's up to you. Funny. <laughs>